Hey guys, it's Lisa from the blog farmhousefoundboom.com and today I want to do part three of my cloth diaper series and that is show you how to make an all-natural diaper cream. This recipe is really easy. I actually already shared it in my natural body ebook which I gave out for free so if you want to grab that it has toothpaste, deodorant, body butter, lip balm, a whole bunch of other things. I will leave a link in the description below, but this is one of the recipes that I want to share for it. Um, it's all natural and very, very healing for the skin, and it is great for diaper rash. Super simple to make, and once you have these ingredients on hand kind of in your home apothecary, you can make everything from sunscreen and body butter, and I have a cabinet full of this stuff to constantly whip up these things so I don't have to run to the store every time we have chapped lips or dry skin, or in this case, a diaper rash. So what I'm gonna do is mix up a half cup of shea butter and four tablespoons of coconut oil in a glass bowl and put it over a pot of boiling water to get it to melt. Now after that's all melted, I'm going to add to it four tablespoons of non-nano zinc oxide and four tablespoons of bentonite clay. Now what is excellent about clay is it is extremely absorbent and it's good for drying out toxins. So studies show that babies heal a lot faster when they have bentonite clay in their diaper rash cream. So it's extremely effective at healing diaper rash. And zinc oxide puts a moisture barrier between the baby's skin and the diaper, and the moisture that's in the diaper. So that facilitates a good environment for healing. Okay, now that I've added the zinc oxide in the clay, I'm going to add five drops of lavender essential oil. You could also use chamomile essential oil for this one, use lavender, they're both very healing for the skin. I pour the entire mixture into a glass mason jar and add a plastic lid. I also made a printable label, which I will link below where you can grab it as well for free on my blog and you can just print it off your printer. That way you can keep track of all of your homemade products because I find that I have a bunch of little jars laying around and sometimes it's easy to forget what is what. What's body butter, what's sunscreen, what is diaper cream in this case. So you can grab that as well. And I also have printables for several other things. I'll leave links below so that you can know where to grab printables for your homemade products. Now, if you wanna make this cloth diaper safe, I recommend eliminating the zinc oxide powder, and that's because it's really good at putting a moisture barrier against the skin, which is great for diaper rash, but not so good for cloth diapers. So if you're dealing with a really severe rash, I recommend making this cream and then using disposables for a few days. I do know some people use the zinc oxide in cloth diaper rash cream. I have not had the best luck with that. I find that it gets on my diapers and stays there. So just use the clay if you want to make this cloth diaper safe. Either way, all natural, great for baby's skin and will heal those diaper rashes. Make sure to stop by the blog and grab your free diaper cream printable label as well as the ebook that has all the other homemade natural body recipes. If this is your first time stopping by, please hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you following along. I make two new videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home.